Hey, my name is Dylan and I do computer graphics. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I do my Stinger transitions and I'm going to give them away for free. So we're working in After Effects. I'm going to make a new composition and we're going to make it 920 to 1080, 60 FPS. Four seconds should be enough for a Stinger transition and press OK. Um, we got comp one and we're going to rename it to liquid one the first animation So I'm using this uh, plugin called a e juice pack manager and it has a lot of transitions So it's kind of cheating I guess But uh, I'm gonna give away these transitions for free. So uh, you should benefit from it So I am um, I imported the transition I wanted right now I'm checking out at what frame the entire screen is going to be filled it's a little bit off but as you can see it's like two one frame less but I'm gonna put it one ahead and put it on um, on two seconds so this should be the switch. This is where you tell OBS to switch the scene to the B scene. I'll cut it there because we don't need the rest. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> I'm duplicating the exact same screen. I put it on the, the, the two second. That's where it starts again. So with this, we have a, a transition in and a transition out. I'm adding a new solid because after the transition in, the entire screen needs to be filled. The solid's gonna be 19, 20, 10, 10, 80, and we're gonna make it the same length as the transition out and put it beneath the transition out. Right now you cannot see anything because I'm using the same colors for the transition and the background. Uh, right now I'm just checking that the screen stays fully filled. Um, naming your files is, is necessary, I mean, especially when you do bigger projects. Um, it just makes your workflow better. So the switch is on two seconds here. I'm going to rename the marker I put there as well to switch so it's clear in case you uh, you're going to download the After Effects file. The thing is that you need a track mat. Um, when you put toggle down, you got alpha mat, alpha inverted, luma and luma inverted. So I'm going to pick alpha mat just to show you how it works um, right now. You can see the transition in and there is a transition in again. So that's not that's not what we want. We want it to turn transparent to go to our B scene. So we go back into our um, track mat and we're gonna select alpha inverted this time. And that should do the trick. Let's test it out. Transition in, transition out to transparent. Perfect. Gonna, gonna speed up the work process uh, for the next five different liquids. And um, like I said, these are gonna be free. I'll uh, put a download link down below in the description so you can, uh, you can, you can use them for free. I try to add maybe two or three other colors. So let me show you how to render this out in After Effects as well. Add it to the render queue. Change from lossless. Yes, indeed. We need QuickTime. Because QuickTime can get you RGB plus alpha. So it stays transparent. Press OK. Um, save it wherever you want, of course. I'm making this pack, so um, put it in my library. Uh, free transitions. I've got a new map for pack two, and we call this liquid six. This is the sixth liquid transition, and we press render. 
and um, that should be it. <laughs>